one of the first things you're going to do when you launch Microsoft Word is let Word know what it is that you want to do. Do you want to create a brand new document? Do you want to open up an existing document? Do you want to use one of the templates that Microsoft supplied to us? You get to pick. They give you all these options. Now, this is really going to be the first thing you see when you open up Word. Take a look at my screen. This is what's called the startup screen or the splash screen. And you can see here that I've got the option to be able to pull from recent documents. I don't currently have any in there, but once you start working inside of Word, this list will start to fill up with your most recent documents you've activated or opened inside of Word. You've got templates that you can use, and I've got a number of templates here. I've got resume templates, cover, cover letter templates, and a whole slew of templates. You've got ways that you can search online templates and just the templates that are loaded on your computer as well. We've also got the option to create a brand new, spanking new, brand new blank Word document. And that's where we're going to start this course, these lectures. So I've launched Microsoft Word. Again, first step, get my splash screen. This was introduced in the 2013 edition. So if you're actually on 2010 or earlier, then it probably brought you right into a blank document right away. So here, 2013 and newer, you get the start screen asking you what you want to do, whether that's recent documents, templates, or start from scratch a blank document. So that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the blank document. I'll just give that a click. This will launch Word for me, and I've got my new blank document in front of me. And that's it. Create a new document. Try it out. Open up Word. If you're in 2010 or earlier, it's going to open, and you're going to get a new document right away. If you're in 2013 or newer, such as I am here, then it's going to ask you what you want to do. Just grab blank document and we'll be on our way. Learn any new application, whether that's Word, Excel, Outlook, or some non-Microsoft application. One of the first things you're going to want to do is become familiar with the interface itself. So that's what I want to take a look at here. Just get kind of the layout of the land and understanding of navigating around this interface that makes up Microsoft Word. And we're going to make this quick because this is something that we're going to continue to talk about as we go through the remaining sections and lectures of this course. So let's make this quick. So take a look at the screen. I've already opened up a brand new document. And to call out some of the areas, I've got up at the top of my screen, top left corner, I've got what's called the Quick Access Toolbar or QAT quick access toolbar. I've got the ribbon. This was introduced way back inside the 2007 edition of the Microsoft Office Suite. They ripped out the old drop down menus that some of us might remember and they've now given us what they call the ribbon. Just a much more graphical interface to get access to all the tools that you'll be using as you work inside of Word documents. Right below that you've got your main document. I can see here that I've got a page within this document. I've got a single page. You can even look down here in the lower left corner of my screen and see that I'm on page one of one. But I've got my Word page. This is really my Word document. Now looking at the bottom of my screen, this is really called the status bar. And there's several bits of information here. Like I showed off, you can see how many pages you got there and what page you're on. You've got some zoom tools located over here in the lower right corner of the screen. And you got some different views that you can use as well. Now this is just really quickly kind of the layout of the application itself. Quick access toolbar in the top left corner. You got the ribbon with all those tabs, home, insert, design, and so on, where you're going to find all your tools that you can use inside your Word documents. You've got the Word document itself, the largest portion of the screen, and then you've got the status bar with a few things on there currently. Keep an eye on that status bar because you're going to see that change as you work inside of Word documents. You're going to see some other options show up for you there. So that's just really quickly, that's the interface. But let's, now let's break down some of the more important parts of this interface. But you know what, even before we do that, just get familiar with it, click around in the interface. Now, if you're on an earlier edition that I have here, you're gonna see some slight differences. If you're on a newer version, there might be some slight differences. I've, I'm recording this one here using Word 2013. If you're on 2010, it looks almost identical. If you're on 2016, practically identical. If you're on 2007, you're going to see a little bit of differences in there, nothing big. If you're on something earlier than that, then you're going to see some pretty drastic differences. But 
right around 2013, you're going to see very, very similar interfaces. And I want to break down one of the changes that they made back in the 2007 release of Excel. And this is called the ribbon. This is really the top portion of my screen here. And this is where you're going to find all of the commands that deal with working with Microsoft Word documents. So here, it's broken up into tabs. I've got home, insert, design, page layout, references, and so on. Now, very important, these tabs, really two things here, they contain all the features that you're going to use as you build your documents and modify and edit these documents. Two, you're going to see the ribbon change. You're going to see additional tabs show up occasionally depending on what you're doing in the application. So I want to introduce you just quickly to navigating this, this ribbon and finding features that are going to be important to you. Now, once again, we're just going to get a quick preview of this portion of the interface of Word, but this is something that we'll continue to nail down as we continue through this course and talk about the, the all of the various features that are, consist within the Word application. So first tab, we got there, we got the Home tab. And as you can see, the Home tab is broken up into different categories. We've got the clipboard, font, we've got paragraph features, we got styles, very, very neat. We'll talk some more about styles later on. But they've kind of categorized features on this home tab. If I hop over to the insert tab or the design tab or page layout and so on, you're going to see that it's very similar. It's still broken up into these little categorized chunks of tools. They're just different sets of tools. On the insert tab, you got things like inserting tables, inserting images, inserting references and links and so on. I go to the design tab and you're talking about styles and themes and really just kind of the, the look and feel or design of the document as a whole. Page layout, a lot of print options in here with columns and the size of your paper, the margins and so on. So I highly recommend get familiar with the ribbon, get familiar with the interface itself click through the tabs, just take a look at what's out there. What types of features are you going to be exposed to as you work inside of a Word document? Now, if you're a seasoned pro inside of Word, you've probably done this and you've done it a lot. But I still recommend, jump in there, just take a look at the different features. On some of your systems, you may even see more tabs. If you see other tabs, jump into the QA section of this course and let us know what other tabs you see up there. There might be some specific to your company. Uh, ones that you've installed on your system or IT or your team installed on your system. There may be some that you've activated, whether that was intentionally or not, but you've got an additional tab there. Uh, one such tab that you might see that you won't see on every system is the, the, the Developer tab. The Developer tab deals with macros and more extensive type automation and form creation that you wouldn't do just in a normal Word document. But that's one that you might see that's not on my screen right now. Now, I said that the, the ribbon is dynamic, and you're going to see it change. You're going to see other tools show up. So I just want to give you a quick preview of that. Take a look. If I go back to the Insert tab, and I go Insert a Picture, let's, let's do an online picture here. Online pictures, these were introduced in the 2013 release of Word. So it's loading it up, it's out searching online. So it's like jumping out to Internet Explorer and it's it's loading stuff up for me. So I'm going to do a quick Bing search here. I'll just look for dog. Now, keep in mind Microsoft, Bing, they're Microsoft tools, Microsoft Word. So it uses Bing for the online search stuff. If you're on a Mac, unfortunately, you won't have the uh, online uh images, illustrations, at least up to the uh, 2013 release, maybe in the future. When I grab a dog, I'm going to go ahead and insert. That drops out. Look at that cute little dog right there. So with that image selected, though, I've now dropped the image in there. And you can see up here at the top of my screen that I got picture tools with a new tab called Format. And it's now giving me all sorts of features that deal with that image. Okay, so again, watch your ribbon. You're going to see other tabs, other tools show up based on stuff that you install or even what you're doing in the application itself such as I have an image selected so they're giving me picture tools with format options for that image tables would be another one another big opportunity inside of Word is to build tables to help you structure your data you want a list maybe it's names of employees coworkers, or clients or orders whatever it might be you've got a big list and you put that in the table 
Well, you're then going to get a tables tab with all sorts of design tools for that table. So again, get familiar with the ribbon, poke around in there, just see what's in there, and watch for other tabs to show up as well as you continue working inside of Microsoft Word. Now, one of the things that we want to become a little more familiar with with the ribbon inside of Word, and this is actually true of any of the Microsoft Office applications from the 2007 edition moving forward to the newest release. At this time, the newest release is 2016. But I'm going to imagine this is going to be something that Microsoft is going to carry forward even beyond into the newer, newer releases. So very important. Looking at the ribbon, we've got this file tab. Now, over the generations, over the different versions of Word and Excel and PowerPoint and so on, this has changed a little bit. Not hugely drastic, but the File tab gives you access to file-related commands. Things like Save, New, Export, Printing, your options, everything that deals with the file or the application as a whole. Let's take a look at it. So I click on my File tab. This is going to change my entire screen. Hey, I no longer see my Word document and that cute little dog on there, right? It's now replaced it with this file tab or the backstage view. Okay. So on the file tab, you can see that I've got a series of tabs over here on the left, info, new, open, and so on. Now each of those are going to give me very specific features that I can use. On the info tab, I've got things like protecting the document. I want to lock down the document, don't let people edit it, I can do that here. I can go through and inspect the document. I can look for things like uh, pieces of metadata or keywords that I don't want to have show up inside the document when I send this out to people. Or I can have it check for potential errors or uh, issues that other users in earlier versions of Word might have with my document. If I go to new, you got your new commands. There's your blank template, all your your default templates that come with Word and the ability to search your online templates. Open, save, save as, you get your print, and this is super slick. Your print is built right into the home tab or the backstage view, and you get a live preview of your document right there. And you can make some common adjustments for printing all in one spot. Sharing, I wanna be able to share this document with an email, send it off to people, I wanna present it online, I wanna post it to a blog, got all sorts of options here. Now once again, your file tab, it's all about options for the document. Saving, opening, opening, exporting. Got your export command right there. You got your options in here. Well worth your time to dig around and say the options window. All sorts of ways that you can customize Word. If you've done this in any other Microsoft application, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, very similar, but customize your experience inside of this application. And you do that through your options tab. So once again, I recommend you poke around inside of here and see what's available to you. We're going to talk about some of this much more in depth as we get into later lectures and we start isolating some of these tools. But for now, once again, just get familiar. Poke around, see what's in there. Open up the options window, see what's there. If you ever want to get back to your document so you can start working with it again or look at that cute little dog, you can just hit the little arrow. Top left corner of your screen, hit that arrow. This will take you right back into your document. And I want to get back in there, I go to my file tab, and I'm back to looking at all of those features. So try it out.